I grew up in a farming family. We produce mainly fruits, pineapple, banana. We always love to eat pineapple, but we didn't see the prospect of pineapple leaves. Even after working 10 years in textile industry, I didn't see that pineapple leaves can be a good textile material. Finally, I realized everybody is talking about climate change. I see there is a solution. Turning farm waste into sustainable clothes is absolutely part of the fashion revolution. And what we really need to do is to see value in everything. There is no waste. I was inspired to create sustainable material for textile industry because we should work with something which is natural and biodegradable and not harmful for the environment. Pineapple leaves produce methane gas, and when it is burned, it produces carbon dioxide. We produce pineapple fiber from wasted pineapple leaves. Now we can say this pineapple fiber can be used for textile material, which is really climate friendly. And Anosanam is an innovative material company that has developed new materials using waste fibers from agriculture and replaces the need to use other materials such as cotton, leather, plastic, which are not sustainable. Pineapple leaf fibers to me are very special. They're strong, fine and flexible. And if you think that there's about 27 million tons of pineapple waste produced every year potentially there to be used. This is an extraordinary positive impact that we could really have. We can make lots of products. We have piña yarn, which is fully biodegradable. Piña yarn offers a alternative to other yarns that are currently on the market. A 100% piña yarn t-shirt compared to a 100% cotton t-shirt saves up to 20% emissions and 95% water. And then we have piña ticks, Pinya Ticks, our main product, is 95% renewable using bio plant-based chemicals. So Pinya Ticks is an alternative to leather and petroleum-based textiles. If we compare Pinya Ticks with leather, Pinya Ticks has a much better environmental credentials. It doesn't use any water, any land, any fertilizers. It's uh, water-resistant and it's breathable. Pinya Ticks is used in footwear, but also in fashion, accessories, uh, apparel. And we're starting to break into more industrial markets, such as insulation. All of our materials are really designed to be reused, recycled, and what I like to say, upcycled, so it doesn't go to waste. Eco Fresh Agro in Bangladesh fits exactly with the ethos that we want to work with. Small communities, help them out, and together develop a local business. I'm Johnny, Ecofresh Agro General Factory Manager. I'm a collector of the At this stage, the fibre is taken for purification. So essentially what we're doing here is we are cleaning it using no harmful chemicals. These fibres then need to be dried. Then it gets put into this machine and it creates textile grade standard fibre for spinning. Per one kilogram of yarn, we save six kilograms of CO2 being emitted. We process our pineapple leaf fiber in such a harmless way. We don't use half of the chemicals the rest of the textile industry uses. We actually don't dye anything because dyeing uses so much water. That's why we are mixing pigments. So there is nearly a waterless process. Scaling up fibers like ours are extremely important for our future generations and our planet. Pineapple leaves are only one of the waste materials in this world. 
As a eco-fresh agro, this is just the beginning for the renewable materials. What we have done last three years for the pineapple fiber, we can do it for the banana fiber, jute and hemp and linen as well. We have developed our own supply chain and we can control through full transparency, collaboration and really strong partnerships throughout the process. Our workers know for what they are doing. They are doing for the planet. They are making sustainable product, which is good for the environment. I think it's really important, particularly in today's world, to draw from the culture and the traditional techniques because they root us in our past. We really need to look back in order to look into the future. What I hope is that the future will bring a balance to the use of these natural resources. When we look into nature, nature will give us the solution. But we have to find it out. We have to dig deeper and bring it to the market. When we are connected with nature, nature will protect us. So let's make a better planet with pineapple leaves.